So, this is the Dark Blue app. It's our Android application for the Dark Star controller. We call it Dark Blue because it uses the Bluetooth connection. So, this is what it looks like when you first open it. So, we've got a button here that says Search for Devices, Status Not Connected, um, East West Axis Slider, Up Down Slider. Um, in a not available these is where we can see the uh, light readings for the sensors um, uh, got four three check boxes next to buttons correspond to our basic modes auto manual and parked mode and we've got a navigation control here that can be used for in a manual mode for moving the motors around. And we've got a configuration button here which opens up this this compressed section and here's quite a bit here really. So first there's the parking section. See the uh, depending on how we've got the checkbooks checkbox selected here, the functionality of these buttons is either to scan the particular axis or set <coughs> the parking to a specified pulse position. So it's good to do a scan on the axis so that we can determine the maximum pulse count and provide proper uh, relative display of the actuator position up here in the uh, slider bars. So, um, uh, after the parking section we've got the tracking configuration which uh, includes so uh, tracking period so this is the number of minutes in between tracking events so usually somewhere like you know three or five minutes in between is is fine um, so and yeah you so once we touch you can see there's context sensitive little description there and once we change it we have to press the set button to send that. Right now we're not connected so it's not, not doing anything. But uh, so anyway the tracking run time is the number of seconds the motor can run during a, a tracking event. Uh, keeping this short basically prevents us from wandering off target there's the uh, return run time so it's just basically an upper limit on the amount of time that will run the motor um, before we think we should hit a limit switch or something like that and then the stall period so if we've got pulse feedback then we should really be seeing more than one pulse per second um, or at least you know a, a pulse pulses within a half a second or so when we start our motor up so we can control that with the stall period and then lastly there's the east inhibit function which uh, is for special cases where maybe there's a, a bright building on the east side or something that could cause you to uh, wander off towards the east uh, in the evening instead of tracking towards the west as you should so but much of that can be properly addressed with the, uh, the light level configuration so once we uh, get connected we'll see here instead of east west it will actually have a number here like 560 or something which is the sum of the east and west sensor values and if that number is 
below the daylight threshold, then it's considered to be night and it will go into park after 10 minutes. And if it's uh, above the sunlight position threshold, then we'll actually uh, um, do some do some solar tracking. The motors will will move and will will track the sun. So and. We've also got uh, east or west east balance and down up balance. So you can see here it says that the plus is uh, to the east, minus to the west, plus up, minus down. So um, we've got a diagram which helps show. the effects of the light level and how that corresponds to either tracking idle or parked status and if you turn the uh, screen sideways you can see that a bit, a bit larger so and the uh, Last section is the uh, wind, wind trigger section. First of all, we can define the parking period that we, uh, how long we stay in park position after we've got a gust above our trigger level, and it will display whatever the current level is here. So we have a, a help us determine what's a good number to, to input there. We've also got some extra functionality here. We can instruct it to learn the average wind speed over the next 60 seconds and, and then set that to the threshold. Um, learn the peak value um, or uh, use the uh, analog reference trim pot that's uh, on the board itself, on, on the Dark Star board itself. So, quite some advanced options there for uh, wind parking trigger. Again, that comes with uh, when you're using an analog anemometer. So, why don't we connect and take it from there.